It's now 632 people evacuated from their homes after a fire sparked west of Reno yesterday afternoon. We have news for us. Alex Canito joining us live in Verdi with a look at how many acres the blaze has burned and an update on this fire this morning. Alex. Good morning, Sam. As you can see behind me, the Garson fire is still burning this morning. 125 acres burned, 10% containment. But now get a look up in the sky from our Sky Vision drone. This is just another angle of the fire this morning. Good news, though, when it comes to this fire, not burning as badly as it was last night. Earlier this morning, we had a really good shot of this hill over here, able to see little pockets of where the fire is still burning. And it looks like from this angle, it's only burning on parts of the land that has already been burned. Now, I did have the chance to speak with the incident commander, Mark Winkleman, and he tells me this morning that the cause of this fire was target shooting. So first responders are asking that if you do target shoot, go to a designated area. Make sure you bring shovels and plenty of water with you to try and prevent situations like this in the future. But we are told that yesterday five to six homes were evacuated as a precaution. But some good news, no structures damaged and no injuries reported. Um, we are told that there are strong lines established in the meadows where the fire initially sparked around one o'clock yesterday afternoon down here in Verdi. Um, but they are not asking Gold Ranch residents to evacuate unless this fire does become an immediate threat to those homes and to the people living in them. We are going to continue to check in with Mark throughout the morning to get the very latest on those containment efforts as well as those numbers. But the latest numbers we have for you this morning, 125 acres burned, 10% contained. Sam? Alex, quick question for you. Have you seen a lot of crews out there this morning? Um, do they plan on any uh, aerial approach when it comes to fighting this fire today? Mark Winkleman did tell me that they are going to be sending some helicopters later this morning and they are going to have crews on scene for the next day or two monitoring this fire, trying to put out the last of it. Um, but so far, it looks like they are getting a pretty good handle on this fire. They have been working very hard since yesterday when it first sparked around one o'clock in the afternoon. So as far as trying to move forward with this effort, helicopters and then they are going to be on scene just trying to put it all out and make sure that everyone is safe. All Sam? right, hopefully they get that handle on that soon. Alex Knee, reporting live from Verdi for us.